In this video, I'm going to walk the board for our project, create drop down to show specimens and update records in Firebase. Now, this is the last video I'm recording, so I can show you the finished product, and I think you're going to like it. First note that we have a spinner or a drop down at the very top of our application, and from this I can pick something like the shrub that I have on the right. Now, watch closely. You see, date planted May... 2007 what if i change this to march or sorry march what if i change it to march 2018 look over here to the right and you notice that that updates immediately so we have a good synchronization from one from firebase to our application as a matter of fact i can change something like a uh, theodore berry friendship park and save and you'll see it update over here and then when i click on this you'll also see that it is automatically updated in the spinner or the dropdown. In addition to that, we have an option to create a new specimen. So I could say Northern Pecan, Price Hill, Lovely Pecan Tree, Date Planted, let's say 1990, we'll say June 1990 and hit save now watch the middle column here where we have specimens and you see that a new specimen has been added and we have june 1990 lovely pecan tree price hill plant id 871 northern pecan and then a unique identifier for this plant as well so we get quite a bit done in this project let's take a look at the things that we're going to do so first of all we need to do a spike to understand some things that we need to use to make this happen uh, remember, mutable state of and buy. Next, we need to create a dropdown or a spinner. Uh, that will That's the one that I was just clicking on. And we need to update it with live data from Firebase. Now, we need to update the compose UI when the user picks a specimen from that spinner. And then we need to save the updated specimen in Firebase. And we also need to consider how to handle creating a new specimen uh, when we have that list pre-populated with existing specimens. So we'll get all that done. And again, I, I'm recording this video after I've recorded all the videos that show you how to do this. So let me go ahead and hit merge, confirm merge. We'll come over here and we'll see all of our tasks go to the done column. So a definitely a very productive sprint. We're going to get a whole lot done with just a little bit of work. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you.